Hi guys, it is December 4th. Um, I haven't been on in a long time and the first thing when I woke up this morning, I went on my phone and to my Bible app and I got a scripture and the Lord refreshed my memory that I had the beginning of a word that I had written probably about three or four weeks ago, <laughs> like a month ago. And he had me get out my notebook and read this word. And then he had me add on to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and read this. Um, I'll, I guess it doesn't matter. It's all one big message. Um, I can try to point out where the word started up again today. I thought the word when I reread it sounded a little discombobulated, but I'm going to read it and put it up. Um, because I feel like that's what I'm being told to do. It's not, you know, to me, I just took this as a reminder of how we can get caught up in things and not pay attention to what we should be paying attention to. So I'll go ahead and read this. It says, my daughter, write my words for those with ears to hear. My children, I wish to remind you that no matter what comes, you will remain protected. You will remain under my wing if you are seeking me. Stay seeking me now, my children, constantly. There are some surprises coming that none of my children have been made aware of. Even those that diligently seek me and study my word carefully will not see these things coming. Most everyone will be unprepared if they are not safely tucked under my wing of protection. Remember, rebuke fear in my name and it has no choice but to flee from you. Fear is not of me, but is of the enemy and he has no greater purpose than to steal peace from my own. Different divisions in my end time army will be called up and into action soon. Some do not even realize that they have already been training in their sleep. Some wonder why they feel so exhausted when they wake up in the morning. These warriors have been well prepared and they don't even realize it. The number of people that they will need to reach in a very short time numbers the grains of sand on a seashore, many. Yet so many live today as if it is just like any other day, drawn into the world. These fail to recognize that they have been sucked into, I'm sorry, many fail to recognize that they have been sucked into a world that is about to change on every level. They will long for just one day of how it used to be once these things begin to take place. My children who born are often accused of fear mongering and many cast off these warnings in sheer ignorance. There will be many things that come to pass that have been spoken of by my messengers for years now, and other things that will come to pass as major surprises. But all of my own will not be facing these things alone. For those who call upon me will be guided and protected and not one will be left to fend for himself. And this is where I started writing again this morning. I wish to address the way that my body must operate now. You must not journey to me in your flesh, for then you will not be journeying to me at all. My children, many continue to speculate on my timing, some still setting dates 
and missing the mark. I love that these are zealous in their work and study of my, of all things relating to me. But when their predictions fail, even some of my own, who are very diligently seeking me daily, wind up disappointed. Do even the angels in heaven know my perfect timing? I encourage you, my children, to find comfort in the fact that my timing is perfect and has been set in place from before your creation. And he had me go to the scripture. It's 1 Corinthians 13, 2. And I wrote it like this. It says, if one has the gift of prophecy and understands all mysteries and all knowledge, and even has faith to move mountains, but does not have charity, they are nothing. Do you have charity, my scribe? Do you have charity, my children? Or have you become so worried about escaping the times that are coming that charity is but an afterthought? Love is why you were created, and charity is a consequence of that love. Charity is that love. For is not operating in love charity? Seek me regarding this, my children. Have you been loving your brothers and sisters with a pure and open heart? Or have you been placing curses upon them with your thoughts and man-made reasonings? Judgment cast upon every... I'm sorry. Judgment cast upon even another man's servant to me is a sin. For I am the only judge of men's hearts. Yet some continue in this manner. For what charity is there in judging and condemning, condemning any man? Instead, pray for those put before you. For all mankind, far and wide, are of corrupted seed. And the greatest charity you can extend is simply lifting even the hearts of hardened criminals to me in prayer. Every man is subject to my judgment. So why do you take this upon yourselves? The seed of sin has been made null and void in the hearts of those that have received me, Yeshua HaMashiach. Yet some cast their man-made judgments upon my own. If you believe you are loving someone by judging them, you are missing the mark. If you believe that you are acting in charity by judging the heart of another, then you become nothing. For charity means love, my children, and without it, you are the dust from which you were created. My perfect agape love can only come from a heart that is filled with my Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit. This should be each man's quest. This agape that I freely offer, many feel, fail to see. It must be the first and the last step of your journey to me, and it should be the length, the height, and the breadth of your every step along the way. Again, without it, you are the dust from which you were created. So instead of judging another man's heart, pray for him. Instead of longing for this journey to end, try charity. Fill your journey with my agape. Take my advice, my children. This end time journey should not be about judging others and it should not be so polluted with figuring out my timing that my agape is forgotten. My first command to you is agape. And if your journey is without it, you will tread a very lonely road. It is charity to love your fellow creation with pure hearts. There is no charity to be found in your judgments of others. Again, without agape, you are nothing. 
but the dust of which you were created. Whatever the mantle I may have placed upon you, agape is charity, and you must extend this to every man that crosses your path. True agape does not manifest within a man's heart without my Holy Spirit. Ask and you will receive, and you will not finish this race without. My Holy Spirit must be your only anchor, for without my Holy Spirit, you will drift aimlessly. The evil planned against my creation cannot be calculated by men. The plan of the enemy has been in place from the beginning of creation. There are many prospering with me who have never prospered upon your earth. And there are many upon your earth prospering in me who have nothing but the tattered clothes on their back. To these, I promise a heavenly future, a heavenly eternity, as they humbly wait for their future to unfold. Will you be the judge of these? I do hope you understand the, the answer to this question. My mercy is offered to all who receive my truth. This is truth, no matter their standing in your world. So will you continue to judge, or will you let me love these through you? Agape, my children, Yeshua HaMashiach.